We are back with part three of our worst NXT call-ups. And we last left you off with one Odyssey Jones, a man who started out really, really well at NXT. And then I called up the main roster has been M-I-A. So let's finish off with number 20, one Zion Quinn, who fits in the same realm of Odyssey Jones, he really didn't do much in NXT, but I saw what they were looking for and what they were trying to achieve with him. He got caught up to the main roster. He has shown up exactly one time, I believe, and he got absolutely destroyed by Braun Breaker. And what's worse is that there's something there. They haven't figured it out. And his partner at the moment, Harley Cameron, is absolutely killing it over an AEW. She is hilarious. She wrestles occasionally, but she knows what to do. She knows her role, whereas Zion Quinn can't sniff any TV time. Number 19, Dio Madden. Now, who is Dio Madden? Well, at one point, he was actually on the commentary team for Monday Night Raw. Do you all remember that? Then he was replaced by Samoa Joe, disappeared, and he came back as a part of Retribution. And we know how that turned out. And then after Retribution, he was gone again and came back as Marseille of Maximum Male Model. Needless to say, his career did not do well on the main roster. And this is a guy who, if you can do color commentary, if you can be on the commentary team, that means you can already talk. So he could talk. He was good in the ring. He was tall, had a look, and they couldn't figure out anything to do with him. Number 18, Shotzi. Now, I hate having Shotzi here. I know she catches a lot of flack for how she goes in the ring, but she's unique. She's different. She can be a star. She's currently out right now with an injury and they've done nothing with her. She was really, really good at NXT, part of War Games teams, finding a really good role for herself. And then she got caught up to the main roster. She was in two different tag teams and both of them failed. Not her fault. One of our partners was actually released. Shotzi had some okay matches, some okay uh, feuds, but they really never amounted to anything. And here she is, once again, not doing anything. Yes, I know she's out with injury right now, but I don't expect anything to change when she returns. Number 17, Shane Haste. Who is Shane Haste? Well, that would be one Shane Thorne, who is now part of TMDK in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And how was his time on the main roster? Retribution. Needless to say, Retribution did not do much on the main roster. And it sucks because all around, he's a competent hand. He's a competent worker and nothing came about it. I don't understand how do you fail someone who goes somewhere else and someone says, you know, I believe in you. Let's see what you can do. And that's the one issue with the WWE calling people up to the main roster. Number 16, Dexter Loomis. By all accounts, it should be super easy to write for Dexter Loomis. Starting out in NXT, um, he built off of his character that he created in TNA and ended up a part of the way. Had a great love storyline with uh, Indy Hartwell. In canon, they are married. He gets caught up to the main roster, first starting as someone stalking The Miz, uh, something about money or whatever, and they finished that, right? And it brought on uh, the debut of Bronson Reed. So what's next for Dexter Loomis? Well, it should be simple. You pair him with The Way. You pair him with Ciampa and Gargano and Indy and Candice. The story is literally right there, but nothing. He's just home collecting a check. Number 15, Isla Dawn. Isla is special. We're starting to get into this role of the women in WWE really having finally unique characters and being able to differentiate each other. And Isla is different from a lot of people. She's up there with Shotzi in the realm of being different and she is a competent worker strong hand good to the mic great look and they figured out nothing she got caught up to the main roster as one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions and then lost the belts in a unification match and then that was about it she can get on TV maybe once or twice 
every three or four months. I don't know what's going on. They are failing another talented woman. And this kind of happens when the roster is extremely bloated. Number 14, Mercedes Martinez. I'm a Mercedes Martinez stan. And they couldn't do anything with the badass that is Mercedes Martinez, a veteran in this business. You know how she got called up? She was part of retribution. And she's like, yo, this is during the pandemic. I got someone I got to take care of. I can't be here, especially in Florida. I'm like, we respect that. And they just did nothing else with it. She was okay in NXT. And of course, once she left the WWE and went back to being Mercedes Martinez, the badass that she is, oh, look, she's a great wrestler. She's a great person to have on your roster. How do you fail an industry better? You could always use more veterans in your locker room number 13 top dollar yeah 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 i know what happened you know the, the, the release of a certain individual was also on this list but there was something there with top dollar and with hit row they could never figure out how to put it together vince saw something in him and wanted to make him the leader of hit row but it just did work and then once the once the the suicide uh i'm sorry the, the the top rope splash failed it was all a wrap for top dollar of course he goes to the independent scene improves himself fixes everything and now he's got a growing star in this business number 12 hideo and tommy how do you fail kenta how do you fail Kenta. I don't get it. The man that popularized the Busaiko knee and the go to sleep that made, the moves are his. And there was a ready made story with him and CM Punk. But CM Punk being the bitch that he is, kept on ducking Hideo. And yes, he was a part of the cruiserweight division, and that's all they saw him for, which sucks. Like this is one of the best wrestlers on the planet, and all you saw him for was as a cruiserweight champion role. And this is under the the uh, the guidance of Vince McMahon, who, let's be honest, his vision is very limited when it comes to what stars can do because we know who Kenta is now in New Japan. They had to do better by him. And of number 11, the faction Sanity, one of the most popular acts in NXT, failed on the main roster not only did it fail on the main roster when they called up three of the four members it just didn't work they could barely get on tv and you called them out without nikki cross who was probably the most interesting character of all of the sanity now she's still in the company but nothing nothing with, with eric young and the rest of the group and eric young is a guy who is very well respected and liked in this business and yet you could not figure out what to do with a faction and now if you look at the roster now we've got factions abound not as many as AEW but we still have factions and they would have been perfect for what's going on right now that's part three of our list come back this Thursday for part four and we take a look at the top ten peace Thank you.